let's start 8.2. Now, you're gonna need graph paper for 8.2. So either you're going to print out the page and use the page that I put in Google Classroom, or you're gonna print out some graph paper, or you're gonna to have to draw a graph with a ruler. So it's gonna be up to you to figure it out. What you will need though is a separate sheet of paper if you do print out the um, information from the Google Classroom. There is not enough room for you to put four solutions here. So I don't want you to do the four solutions on the paper. You can use the graph, but you need to put four solutions somewhere else. I mean, it's possible you can fit it on here, but I don't know how you're gonna show your work for it. So I'm gonna do the first couple where it says you just have to find four solutions of each equation and write the solutions as ordered pairs. So there's no graph required here. It's only when you see the word graph and you see graphs that you have to graph. That makes sense. So I have question number one. My equation is y equals 2x plus 4. I'm going to remind you that this is a linear equation and it's um, a function. I want to be able to visualize this line eventually so that I can see what kind of line this creates. I will tell you that this will create a positive linear line because this number right here, the coefficient is positive. I also know that my line will cross the y axis at positive four. That's something you will eventually learn. So you're gonna go ahead and pick four numbers to plug into this and create a table of your x and your y values. Now what x and y values can you pick? Well, basically any one you want. But if you wanna check it with mine, chances are I'm going to use the same similar numbers like negative one, zero, one, and two, okay? And now all I have to do is take that negative one and plug it in for the x value. Two times negative one plus four is equal to Two times negative one is negative two, and negative two plus four is two. Then do it again. Two times zero plus four is equal to four. Two times one plus four, what do you think it's gonna be? Exactly. Because this is a linear equation, I know I'm going to see a pattern. I don't even need to do that last one. As long as I'm incrementing this correctly, by the same amount, whether it be by ones or by twos or by whatever, I can see a pattern here and just continue it on. And if you notice, this has a change of one and this has a change of two. And you can see that reflected in our coefficient, okay? Um, so really pay attention to what that's gonna look like. Then you're gonna go ahead and go on to question number two and do the same kind of thing. And again, I'd add opposite here, and I would use these values right there, okay? And it doesn't matter what form it's in. When you get down to question like number four right here, you're gonna do the same thing. Here's your x, here's your y, negative one, zero, one, two, but I have no plus. So when I have no plus, what you're gonna find out is it's gonna cut through the origin right there. That's actually going to be a point, is the origin. We call that a direct variation equation, quest, hello graph, or um, directly proportionate graph when it goes through the origin. And that too you will learn. So you do negative four times negative one, which is equal to four. Then negative four times zero, which is equal to zero. What are you gonna notice? Is it going down by four? Negative four times one is equal to negative four. So if you notice, it's going down by four each time, so that one would be negative eight. You know you did it right if your graph creates a linear line. In this case, it's gonna be a line that's going down. So I go to the left one and up four. One, two, three, four. Zero, zero, I already told you. And then to the right one, down four. Right one, down four, like that. 
And then the last one I can't really fit on the line because I didn't increment by anything but ones. Now you can increment your graph differently. You could go by twos in order to fit it on, but this is fine. If you show me four solutions here and you graph at least three of them, I'm good with that. And you graph it with a ruler because we are talking about straight, precise lines. So it's super important that you're using a ruler. Make sure you put arrows on the end because they are lines and that means they go on forever. See, it's a linear line decreasing. How do I know? I write my name on it and it's going down the line. I knew it was gonna decrease because the coefficient was negative. And then I go on to the next one and do it. So you're gonna do all of this page and it goes kind of through a practice with you at the beginning. Nothing on this page. I do not want you to do this page yet. So no worry about this page, but I do want you to do all of this, okay? So there's a lot of, bit of, a lot of practice on here. Um, it's gonna be really interesting when you get to this one and hopefully you watched the video carefully and listened to me in class on how exactly to do that one, okay? Um, don't worry about where it says slope intercept because uh, we're just going to leave things the way they are right now. Good luck.